They are the undead creatures who rise from the grave and spread a plague capable of wiping out humanity. They are zombies. Holy sh You've seen them in movies, video games, and your favorite AMC series. No matter what form of visual media, zombies paint a very nightmarish picture of what would happen if the dead were to walk amongst the living. Every dead body that is not exterminated becomes one of them. It gets up and kills. The people it kills get up and kill. So let's pay tribute to this horror subgenre by looking into my choices for the top five zombie movies. Let's start the countdown. Five. Do you think all zombies are the same? Well, you'll be proven wrong when you see the 1985 hit, The Return of the Living Dead. When a couple of clumsy warehouse employees accidentally release a chemical agent from a container, they end up reviving anything that the chemical comes in contact with. That goddamn chemicals! It's all over everything! Stupid asshole! Watch your tongue, boy, if you like this job! Like this job! And if you think that these zombies can be killed just by destroying the brain, well, no. What the hell's going on, The brain! The brain! I hit the f***ing brain! And dismemberment doesn't exactly help much either. So when they resort to cremating the zombie, the situation gets worse when the toxin gets into the air, creates a chemical rain, hits a local cemetery, and you can probably guess what happens next. <laughs> Teaming up with a gang of punk kids, the group fights off a newly risen army of undead, who are crying out for only one thing. To this day, The Return of the Living Dead has received a cult status and has proven to be a scary good time. Four. Everyone knows Peter Jackson for his masterful directing of both The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit trilogies. You shall not pass! But before bringing the J.R.R. Tolkien novels to life, he directed one of the most graphic zombie comedies ever to hit theaters, a little splatterfest called Dead Alive. When Lionel's overprotective mother is bitten by a rat monkey at the zoo, okay, she becomes infected with a zombie virus. Despite Lionel's best efforts to keep her sickness secret from the rest of the town, the entire neighborhood becomes infected, and all hell starts breaking loose. This horror comedy stands out for its insane amount of gore, along with the character's hilarious efforts to fend off the undead. Especially the scene where a priest provides divine intervention with the use of kung fu. I kick ass for the Lord! But be warned, Dead Alive is not for those who gross out easily. Only the toughest of horror lovers can stand the disgustingly violent content. Party's over. Three. Sometimes when a person wants to turn their life around, they are bound to face obstacles. And Sean's biggest obstacle is a nationwide zombie outbreak in Shaun of the Dead. When a young slacker named Sean is dumped by his girlfriend, he decides that it's time to change himself for the better. But right when he sets out to do so, zombies begin roaming his community. <laughs> do something! Wait a minute. And hold it there. And just get her off me! Standing up from his couch and stepping up to the plate, Sean makes it his mission to gather his loved ones and hold up at the only place he can think of, his favorite bar. This hilarious take on the zombie genre delivers great carnage and humor. Shaun of the Dead will shock you as well as make you die laughing. Go for the head. Two. The year is 1968 and zombies have yet to become a huge part of the horror genre. That is until George Romero stepped in and gave us the classic low-budget horror flick, Night of the Living Dead. When the dead begin to rise in the East Coast, a group of survivors find refuge in an isolated farmhouse. But conflict ensues between a young man who believes that they should barricade the house and fight off the hordes of the undead, and a stubborn father who thinks that they should stay barred in the basement and wait for help. You are insane. The cellar is the safest place. I'm telling you, they can't get in here. As the bickering ensues, the number of zombies outside begins to increase. 
So, should the heroes fight them off and escape, or stay held up in the shelter that may not be as safe as they originally thought? With its amazing suspense and compelling story, George Romero's Night of the Living Dead is one of the biggest highlights of horror and will be remembered for many generations to come. And I gotta say, the 1990 remake by Tom Savini is pretty decent. Damn it! One. While Night of the Living Dead introduced zombies to moviegoers, George Romero took it to the next level 10 years later with the terrifying sequel, Dawn of the Dead. Night of the Living Dead has ended. Dawn of the Dead is here. Here we have two AWOL SWAT team members, a news reporter and a news executive who team up to seek refuge at an isolated mall when a growing zombie pandemic brings the nation to ruin. As this group of four maintains their new home, they gather what is needed for survival while indulging in material goods and luxuries. But they are forced to deal with the hardship of watching the rest of the world crumble further and further when the outbreak of undead shows no sign of stopping. This film is known for its graphic zombie carnages and the makeup effects that brought the zombies to life. While I do consider Dawn of the Dead to be one of the greatest horror movies ever, I also gotta give props to the terrifying 2004 remake by Zack Snyder. As far as remakes go, this one came pretty close to being on par with the original classic. Oh, yeah.